Since ancient times, humanity has turned its gaze to the stars, seeking meaning and connection in the vast expanse above. The night sky has always sparked wonder, curiosity, and a sense of limitless possibility that transcends borders and generations. We've looked up, pondering whether we are alone in this vast universe and if other life forms might be gazing back at us from afar. For centuries, this question was the realm of philosophers and dreamers, who could only imagine the secrets the cosmos might hold, sketching their visions and theories by candlelight. Today, technology empowers us to seek real answers. With powerful computers and advanced instruments, we can transform imagination into investigation. The James Webb Space Telescope is more than just a telescope. It's a time machine, a gateway to other worlds, and a testament to human ingenuity and collaboration. Its golden mirror, unfurled far beyond the moon, heralds a new chapter in our exploration of the universe. JWST's mission, bold and unprecedented, pushes the limits of what we thought possible. It allows us to peer back to the first light after the Big Bang, to witness galaxies forming in the early universe, and to see cosmic history unfold before our eyes. The telescope also enables us to search for the building blocks of life on distant worlds, examining exoplanets that orbit stars far from our own, and searching for signs that we are not alone. Designed to see in infrared, it cuts through cosmic dust, unveiling the hidden cradles of creation, places where stars and planets are born previously invisible to our eyes. When its first images arrived, they captivated the world, showing us the universe in colors and detail we had never seen before, sparking excitement and awe across the globe. Nebulae, galactic clusters, and the swirling clouds of gas and dust that shaped the cosmos appeared in breathtaking detail, each image a window into the unknown. We observed stellar nurseries, regions where new stars are born, captured with clarity that revealed the dynamic processes of creation. But beyond the beauty, these images signaled a new dawn for astronomy, offering data that will fuel discoveries for decades to come. With JWST, we can now study exoplanets directly, analyzing their atmospheres for water, methane, and other vital molecules. We search for oxygen, the fingerprints of life, hoping to find clues that could answer the age-old question, are we alone? The telescope has moved us from speculation to observation, allowing us to test our theories, challenge our assumptions, and search for answers to mysteries that have fascinated humanity for millennia. The universe suddenly feels closer, more accessible, as if the boundaries between us and the stars have begun to dissolve. The journey has just begun. The cosmos is waiting, and with each new discovery, we take another step into the unknown, guided by curiosity and the unending human spirit of exploration. Our closest stellar neighbor, Proxima Centauri, is just over four light years away, a cosmic stone's throw in the vastness of the universe. This tiny red star, barely visible to the naked eye, has long intrigued astronomers searching for worlds beyond our own. In 2016, astronomers made a groundbreaking discovery. Proxima b, a rocky planet orbiting within the habitable zone of Proxima Centauri. This means it's at just the right distance from its star for liquid water to potentially exist on its surface, a key ingredient for life as we know it. This revelation made Proxima b the most accessible exoplanet for studying the potential for life beyond our solar system. For the first time, scientists had a nearby world to focus their hopes and instruments on, sparking a new era in exoplanet exploration. The idea of a nearby world with vast oceans or shimmering lakes captured imaginations worldwide. People began to wonder, could Proxima b be a second Earth, teeming with life, or at least capable of supporting it? Almost overnight, Proxima b became the prime target in the search for extraterrestrial life. Telescopes around the globe and in orbit were trained on this distant world, searching for any hint of an atmosphere or signs of habitability. But Proxima Centauri is a red dwarf, smaller, cooler, and far more volatile than our sun. Its unpredictable nature presents unique challenges for any planet in its orbit. Red dwarfs unleash powerful flares, blasting nearby planets with intense radiation. These stellar tantrums can be frequent and violent, threatening to strip away a planet's protective atmosphere.
Could Proxima B hold onto its atmosphere, shielding itself from deadly radiation, or would it be stripped away, leaving behind a barren, lifeless rock? The answer could determine whether life ever had a chance to take hold there. The allure of Proxima B was matched only by the mystery of its true nature. Every new observation raised more questions than answers, deepening the cosmic enigma. It became a cosmic puzzle, one that science was finally ready to solve. With new technology and relentless curiosity, researchers set out to uncover the secrets of this nearby world. The stakes were high, discovering if our nearest neighbor could be another Earth, a place where life might thrive, or at least survive, under alien skies. Or would Proxima B turn out to be just another lifeless world, a silent witness to the harsh realities of space? The search continues, driven by hope, curiosity, and the timeless allure of the unknown. Before JWST, our knowledge of Proxima B was built on indirect observations and scientific modeling. Some models imagined a tidally locked world, with one side an endless day, the other in night, and a habitable twilight zone in between. If Proxima B had a thick atmosphere, it could circulate heat and support liquid water. A strong magnetic field might shield it from radiation, making life possible. The key question, did Proxima B retain an atmosphere? JWST sensitivity offered hope. It could detect chemical signatures like water vapor, carbon dioxide, or methane. Transmission spectroscopy would reveal if starlight passing through the planet's edge carried the fingerprints of an atmosphere. The scientific community buzzed with anticipation. For the first time, we had a chance to move beyond models and see what was really there. Could Proxima b be our first confirmed habitable exoplanet? The day arrived. JWST focused on Proxima Centauri, waiting for Proxima b to transit its star. The telescope's instruments split the starlight, searching for the faintest signs of an atmosphere. On Earth, scientists watched the data stream in, knowing it held the answer to a profound question. Analyzing the data was painstaking, comparing spectra, filtering out noise, searching for the planet's chemical fingerprint. The world waited for the verdict. When the analysis was complete, the results were published. JWST had captured real, observational evidence from our nearest exoplanetary neighbor. This was not theory, this was reality. The findings would shape future studies and redefine our search for life. The telescope had done its job. Now, it was time to face the truth about Proxima b. The moment of truth had come. What had we found? The results were sobering. JWST found no significant evidence of a substantial atmosphere around Proxima b. Despite the hopes of astronomers and the excitement that surrounded the search, the data painted a stark picture. The starlight passed by the planet almost unimpeded, suggesting any atmosphere is vanishingly thin. This means that, if there is any air at all, it's far too insubstantial to offer real protection or support for life as we know it. Without an atmosphere, there's no protection for liquid water or life. The surface would be exposed to the vacuum of space, and any water would quickly evaporate or freeze, leaving only a dry, cracked landscape behind. Proxima Centauri, though small, is a violent star, unleashing powerful flares and intense radiation. These outbursts are far more frequent and energetic than those from our own sun, bombarding the planet with relentless energy. Over billions of years, this cosmic assault likely stripped Proxima b down to bare rock. The planet's atmosphere, if it ever had one, was gradually eroded away by the star's fierce winds and radiation. The dream of a nearby, habitable world faded. What once seemed like a promising candidate for life now appears to be just another barren world among countless others. The lesson, being in the habitable zone, isn't enough. A planet's location is only one piece of a much larger puzzle. A planet needs a stable star and protection from radiation. Without these, even the most Earth-like worlds can become inhospitable wastelands. Proxima b's close orbit, once its greatest hope, is also its downfall. The proximity exposes it to the worst the star has to offer, making survival nearly impossible. The truth, Proxima b is likely a barren, airless, radiation-blasted world. Its surface is a testament to the harsh realities of space. 
not the second Earth we hoped for. The search for a true twin to our planet continues, and with it, our hope for finding life elsewhere. But this knowledge is valuable. Every discovery, even disappointing ones, brings us closer to understanding our place in the universe. Science is about discovering what is true, not what we wish were true. Each result, positive or negative, helps refine our search and sharpens our questions. Now, we refine our search, armed with a deeper understanding of what makes a planet truly habitable. The universe is vast, and our journey to find another Earth is only just beginning. Comparing Proxima b and Earth reveals just how rare our planet is. Both are rocky and in the habitable zone, but Earth orbits a stable, middle-aged star. Our Sun's steady energy, combined with Earth's thick atmosphere and strong magnetic field, has allowed life to flourish. Earth's magnetic shield protects our atmosphere from being stripped away, a fate that befell Mars and, now we know, Proxima b. Proxima b, by contrast, orbits a volatile red dwarf, enduring relentless radiation. Even with a magnetic field, the planet's atmosphere would struggle to survive. No atmosphere means no protection, no liquid water, and no climate stability. The surface is likely hostile and lifeless. This comparison shows that habitability is a delicate balance of many factors. Earth is a rare convergence of circumstances, a true cosmic oasis. The findings from Proxima b are not a setback, they're a lesson. Red dwarfs are the most common stars, but their violent nature makes their habitable zones dangerous. The close proximity needed for warmth exposes planets to intense radiation and flares. Life may struggle to start or survive in such environments. This doesn't mean we give up on red dwarfs, but we must be more selective. We now know to prioritize planets orbiting calmer stars, or super-Earths with stronger gravity to hold onto atmospheres. JWST's time is precious. We must focus on the most promising targets. The result from Proxima b is not the end. It's a new beginning. Science advances by testing and learning. Each discovery, even a negative one, brings us closer to understanding what makes a planet a home. Our search continues, smarter and more focused than before. Proxima b is just one chapter in the story JWST is writing. The universe is vast, filled with billions of stars and planets. The search for life is only beginning. JWST will turn its gaze to other systems, like TRAPPIST-1, with its multiple Earth-sized worlds. Each new observation teaches us more about how planets form and what conditions life needs. We are the first generation with the technology to search for life beyond Earth. Some worlds will be barren, others may surprise us. The universe is more creative than we can imagine. The quest continues, driven by our curiosity. JWST is our scout, our eyes in the cosmic wilderness. The universe still holds its secrets, waiting for us to discover them. The journey is long, but the adventure is just beginning.